Hello and welcome to Movies, Money and More. This is the show which gets the real picture behind all that glam and glitz. I'm Samina Rani. Let's take a quick look at what we have this week. Film studios go beyond Bollywood and are heading south. Is Bol Bachchan as much fun as its inspiration, the original Golmal? We get you the verdict. Sports channels are gearing up to fight it out with each other. And we take stock of the movie releases in the last quarter. The fact that most of the movies in the 100 crore club are remakes of South Indian movies is giving film studios the confidence to invest in the southern market. Shobhna Nair tells you why production houses are heading to Chennai. Rajni Khan's upcoming big budget movie Kochardian. The Tamil remakes of Band Baja Bharat and Delhi Belly. Tamil superstar Vikram's next film Tandavam. All these movies have one thing in common. the fact that it's hindi film studios that are producing them and pumping in the moola and it seems like they have a good reason to do so the tamil movie market is the second biggest in the country after hindi one look at the split of regional language films will show us that tamil and telugu movies each command an 18% share in the southern markets But currently it's Tamil cinema that seems to be the flavor of the season as it's proving to be an attractive market thanks to its technical expertise and its creative minds. I do genuinely believe that uh, the Tamil film industry actually has a lot more original writing happening in the, in, in 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 Tamil I think uh, their stories are more rooted uh, I think they've got some great technical people some great directors Uh, and i think we're seeing a lot of that happening in the market i mean a lot of the re- recent remakes that are being made in hindi are all remakes of very successful uh, the south indian films so i think uh, you know whichever way you look at it uh, you cannot ignore the tamil film industry so while the potential is huge in the tamil markets for studios it is also part of their business strategy as they get to diversify and de-risk their investments Also the big bankable stars in Bollywood are not available for every project in the pipeline making producers look for greener pastures for instance UTV Motion Pictures has been actively investing in Tamil movies by not just distributing but also producing them and the encouraging response has made them expand further In May this year they made their debut in Malayalam movies with Grandmaster They wanted to enter the market with a bang, so it was only logical to rope in Mohanlal, Malayalam cinema's biggest superstar. Let us play the game. If you are entering a market, it's important to to make clear that your intentions are to be in that market on a sustained level. Uh, once we decided that we wanted to enter that market, we were looking obviously for a great script and we were looking for a big film because we wanted to announce our entry into the market and let the local talent know also that we're here to stay. So what better than a Mohanlal film to do that with and with a great script? It's not just UTV, but in the past few years Reliance Entertainment too has churned out Tamil movies one after the other. One of the main factors attracting the studios is the budget of a Tamil film which is much lower compared to a Hindi movie. And if the movie does well, the returns will be huge. Also the business model in Tamil movies is slightly different as theatrical collections from single screens still constitute a major chunk of the revenues unlike Hindi movies which now depend heavily on satellite music and overseas rights which means Tamil movies stay longer in cinema halls and the revenues come in larger numbers and while A-list Bollywood stars command a huge profit sharing ratio this trend has still not caught on in the Tamil film industry Another advantage down south is that piracy is fully under control in states like Tamil Nadu which of course helps in getting more revenues. It's great that piracy in that market has been kept in strong check. It's a mix of legislation as well as of the audiences themselves. You've got pretty responsible audiences there who understand what piracy is and in fact there are fan clubs of top stars there that will actually go and raid a pirate shop if he's carrying, you know, pirated print of their star's film. So I think there's a lot of consumer activism in that market uh, which is uh, which is which is really good. 
So what are the other studios up to? Fox Star Studios which is still trying to manage its foothold in Hindi films co-produced a small budget non-star or Tamil movie Engayam Epodum with Gajani director A.R. Murgadas. The movie made on a budget of 5 crore rupees collected 20 crore rupees at the box office. The film was part of a multiple movie deal with Murgadas under which he will creatively produce movies for them every year. Also caught by the lure of the South is one of Hindi cinema's biggest studios, Yashraj Films, who have decided to venture into Tamil movies by remaking their own hits. The 2010 release Ban Baja Bharat will be the first Tamil movie under their banner. And the list isn't over yet. The biggest Rajnikanth movie this year, Kochadian, is being produced by Eros International and has a budget of more than 100 crore rupees due to the advanced technology being used in the film. So for studios, their southern outing may have begun with a bang, but going ahead, there will be challenges too. PwC Smita Jha gives us an outlook. It's not going to be easy. It will be a journey. And I think it's the same journey and the same challenges that studios faced when they actually got the whole studio model as such from a you know, family-run business that we actually saw in the Hindi film industry. So yes, you know, from a content perspective, tie-ups with you know, local content producers, with the, with the talent, etc. is very, very important. Um, distribution is a very, very big challenge because you know, those markets are not well-versed with the distributors that are typical to Hindi films. That's another area. The journey might be a bit tough, but it still provides a huge opportunity for the Tamil film industry to learn a thing or two from its Bollywood counterparts. Shakti Girish, editor of Galata Media, who has been tracking Tamil cinema for a long time, shares her views. From my perspective, a lot of pre-production planning which is not happening, which is why production costs are going up and movies are not made on schedule and people are a little iffy about when something's going to start and finish. We need to look at more in-film branding. We need to look at uh, different ways of positioning a film with another brand or uh, let's say a company which will help publicize. It's for mu mutual satisfaction, it, you know, it reaches to more people, there is more brand recall, etc. And there's a lot of money to be made within the film as well as the film itself. So the Tamil film industry seems poised to get that much needed push from B-Town, be it financial support or professional expertise. But will the studios be able to tap all the creative potential in this market? Well, it could be a long road ahead before they can declare that they have arrived in the South. It's time to slip in a short break, but stay tuned as we bring you the review of this week's big movie, Paul Pachan.